Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Do you remember the Japanese kamikaze pilots of special military units who destroyed the U.S. Navy ships in World War II? The U.S. military has used the same technique to develop their switchblade suicide drones that have been recently seen hunting the Russian helicopters in Ukraine. For decades, helicopters have dominated the battlefield, but their dominance is being challenged. The switchblade's compact size and maneuverability make it difficult to track and defend against, turning the once mighty helicopter into a vulnerable target. Is the switchblade a revolutionary weapon that will redefine modern warfare, or a Pandora's box unleashing a new era of automated conflict? Join us as we delve deeper into details of the switchblade drones and what it means for the US and Russian military. The story of switchblade begins in the early 2000s, when American soldiers faced a significant challenge while fighting in Afghanistan. The rugged terrain, characterized by steep mountains, sharp hills, and deep valleys, provided ample hiding places for enemy combatants who possessed intimate knowledge of the area. Despite having air superiority with uncontested control of the skies, there was a crucial delay between a patrol being ambushed, calling for air support, and the support arriving, often resulting in the conclusion of the skirmish by the time help arrived. Besides this, the U.S. and Alliance forces encountered threats such as ambushes, snipers, and improvised explosive devices while on patrol. These threats, either individually or in combination, pose severe risks to the soldiers' safety. To mitigate these dangers, military adaptations were made, including the introduction of the mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle, designed to shield occupants from the immediate effects of roadside bombs. Another crucial development was the switchblade drone, originally known as the Lethal Miniature Aerial Missile System, which combined the reconnaissance capabilities of drones with an explosive charge, allowing it to function like a missile against sniper positions or individuals planting IEDs. Originally conceived as a reconnaissance drone, the Switchblade's development began in response to a request from the U.S. Army in 2004. They sought a drone that could be launched from a 105mm mortar barrel enabling the artillery team to assess the damage caused by their attacks without exposing personnel to danger. Although this specific program did not progress as planned, AeroVironment successfully created a tube-launched drone capable of providing real-time video feed to human operators. DARPA, known for its ambitious military research projects, expressed interest in a close combat lethal reconnaissance tool, which utilized the same tube-launched concept. AeroVironment proposed an armed tube-launched drone to the Air Force Special Operations, impressing them enough to secure funding in 2006. Subsequently, the U.S. Army also placed orders for these weapons, leading to the further development and deployment of the Switchblade drone. If we delve deeper into it, the Switchblade is a type of flying camera robot equipped with an explosive payload. These all-electric machines are designed to assist in locating or engaging nearby targets rather than distant ones. There are two variants of the Switchblade, the Switchblade 300 and the Switchblade 600. Both can be carried by a single person, but there is a substantial difference in weight. The Switchblade 300 weighs just 5.5 pounds and can be packed into a backpack, while the 600 is heavier, with the missile itself weighing 33 pounds and additional components adding to the weight. The Switchblade 300 has a range of slightly over 6 miles and a flight time of 15 minutes. In contrast, the Switchblade 600 has a range of 25 miles and can fly for up to 40 minutes. These drones are equipped with cameras and sensors that provide video and GPS information, which is used to guide their movements. Additionally, they can receive targeting information from other drones to track and engage selected targets. These drones are designed to carry small explosive payloads, making them suitable for engaging personnel or lightly protected targets such as mortar launchers or exposed machine gun emplacements. The Switchblade 600 is specifically equipped with an anti-armor warhead, making it effective against vehicles. Despite their capabilities, the Switchblade drones have a relatively short operational lifespan. Once they have completed their mission or if their target is no longer viable, they can be called off and recovered. The Switchblade 600 is promoted as having a rechargeable battery. While the Switchblade is commonly referred to as a drone due to its reconnaissance capabilities, it is officially classified as a tactical missile system by AeroVironment. This designation reflects its dual role as both a reconnaissance tool and an armed weapon. The broader category it falls under is known as a loitering munition, which refers to its ability to loiter in an area before engaging a target. The concept of loitering munitions has historical roots, with early predecessors like the Kettering Bug, an uncrewed biplane from 1918 that shares similarities with modern drones and cruise missiles. 
Unlike traditional missiles, which are single-use and cannot be recovered, the switchblade and similar weapons are designed for one-time use. In terms of autonomy, the switchblade operates using waypoint navigation, where a human operator plots a course for the drone to follow. Once launched, the drone flies autonomously to its designated waypoints. While it has autonomous features like object recognition, it still requires human input for target selection and decision-making. The short flight times of the switchblade drones mean that operators must trust the drone's targeting system to hit its intended target. However, unlike traditional missiles, operators have the ability to abort a mission if circumstances change, such as the identification of a non-combatant in the target area. This capability gives operators a level of control not typically seen in missile systems. When it comes to the cost of switchblade drones, it's important to recognize the significant investment involved. The Switchblade 300 is priced at approximately $6,000 per unit, while the comprehensive package, including the airframe, sensors, guidance systems, warhead, data link, and launcher, totals $58,063 according to the 2022 budget. The cost of the Switchblade 600 is not disclosed, but is expected to be substantially higher. These prices reflect the advanced capabilities and precision of military-grade drones, tailored for specific operational needs. Factors such as advanced sensors, sophisticated guidance, and powerful warheads contribute to the overall cost, making these drones a substantial investment in precision warfare. Since its first deployment with the U.S. Army in 2012, the Switchblade has played a significant role in enhancing the capabilities of infantry units. Its versatility was demonstrated in March 2022 when the U.S. included it in military aid to Ukraine. Subsequently, in May 2022, Ukraine's military showcased the effectiveness of the switchblade by releasing footage of it being used to target a Russian tank crew, which was positioned on top of the tank. This successful demonstration highlighted the impact of the switchblade as a portable missile system that provides soldiers with air support they can carry into battle on their backs. Equipped with an onboard camera, the switchblade allows its operator to have a real-time view of the target as it engages, enhancing precision and situational awareness. Furthermore, its operator retains the ability to abort a strike if circumstances change, adding a crucial layer of control and flexibility to its deployment in dynamic combat environments. While the Switchblade is hunting the targets cleverly, China has been making headlines with its recent testing of the XS-101 loitering munition, showcasing the country's advancements in unmanned aerial systems technology. This new drone, developed by AOMEI Technology, bears a striking resemblance to the American Switchblade 300 both in design and its bazooka-style launcher. The visual similarities between the two systems highlight the parallels in drone launch mechanisms between China and the U.S. During testing, the XS-101 demonstrated its precision by hitting a target from an impressive altitude of 4,600 meters. Equipped with a nose-mounted camera, the drone provides real-time visual feedback to operators, allowing for precise targeting and navigation. Despite its autonomous navigation capabilities, operators retain the ability to intervene, adjust the drone's course, or abort missions if unexpected events occur, such as the presence of civilians in the target area. China's development and testing of the XS-101 underscore its significant progress in the field of advanced drone technology, positioning the country as a formidable player in the global drone market. This progress is further exemplified by Russia's efforts to replicate American kamikaze drones such as the Switchblade 300. Russia's loitering munitions, named the BAS-80, also have similarities in design and functionality with Switchblade, which showcases a broader trend of countries emulating advanced drone technologies pioneered by the U.S. As these countries advance their capabilities in this field, it poses challenges for the U.S. in maintaining its technological edge and influence in global security dynamics. The proliferation of similar drone technologies could lead to increased competition and potential shifts in military power balances. To stay ahead, the U.S. may need to further invest in research, development, and innovation to ensure its continued leadership in the realm of advanced drone technology and its strategic applications. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.